Welcome back to the show. It's now time for some comedy. Luke Heggie is on fire. He's doing plenty of stuff around the traps and he's got a new album out called You're Not So Special. Go to his website and you can buy it. And he's here tonight behind the microphone for us. Please give a big footy show welcome to Luke Heggie. <laughs> So, right, so, so modern parenting's changed a bit. This might alarm some of the younger people watching this, but there was a time with kids, right, when you could just sort of kick one, you know, and then, and then the other dad would turn up and say, oh, what's going on here? And you'd say, well, your kid was being a little bastard, so I kicked him for you. you know? <laughs> and he'd say, oh, thanks very much. <laughs> you saved me the bother. And what's your name? It's nice to meet you, that sort of thing. And, and not anymore. I'm not saying you should be able to bash kids, not at all. But to go from that to nothing... In one generation, some people might find that to be a bit extreme. A lot of us grew up dreaming of the day we'd be able to just take a thong off our foot at the shops and smash it across the back of some kid's thigh. You know? <laughs> Can't do that anymore, can you? And they know this. They are very trying. I've got, got a couple of these little fun sponges. I've got to say, they test your patience. Whenever I used to see a man, right, sitting in a parked car by himself, I used to think, oh, look at him, he's up to no good, probably should be arrested. Or at the very least, put on some sort of a watch list of men who are about to do something terrible. Now, I see a man sitting in a parked car by himself, I just think, oh, there's another dad who needs a bit of a time out. Yeah? <laughs> Before he just flips out and finds himself on the news being referred to as lone gunman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, everyone's sort of... Everyone's gone crazy about kids, so I, I drop my kids off at a sleepover, right? And they're only expecting one of them, but they've got both. You're not going to drop... One child off at someone's house and take one home and deal with that business. So, yeah, it's ridiculous. So, dropping one child off somewhere and taking one home, that's like before you go in your own house, just wiping the dog shit off, just one of your shoes. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah. And then the next day, I went to pick them up, and these people started chiding me over my parenting skills, as is their want. They love this. They're like, oh, you're a terrible parent. We're really irresponsible what you did here. Yesterday, you dropped your kids off with pajamas that aren't fireproof. Our kids have got fireproof pyjamas. Your kids' pyjamas aren't fireproof. I said, have you two recently vacated your skulls? What are you talking about? I just spent the last two weeks teaching my kids to put their cigarettes out before they go to bed. <laughs> and, then, and then the next week, I've got their kids back at my house. This is how sleepovers were for the uninitiated. No-one's doing that out of the goodness of their hearts, are they? Taking extra children into their house. No way. Some sort of tally system. So I've got their kids back at my place. First night I had them, I was out on the balcony setting off some of the fireworks I'd made. And sort of... Well, one of them's gone sideways and turned into a really bad time. The <laughs> neighbour's house is on fire and everything started to take. It was, you know. But thankfully, though, it was after midnight. All the kids are standing around there, ready for bed, in their pyjamas. So just use one of theirs to put it out. Um, and I've got, got to get off in a second. I've got to say, you know, now though, too, you've got to give your kids stupid names just to set them apart from their peers and let the world know that they're special and that you're special too by association. You know, we, we, there's some ripper names out there now. We, we gave our kids ridiculous names. Our little fella, we called him, his name's Shark. And this, this commands respect wherever we go, except for when I lose him at the beach. <laughs> anyway, thanks for having me. Here we go. Welcome back on the show anytime. Daryl, I heard you giggling away. Oh, that's like funny. You know? I like that shark one. <laughs> <Except That's right. laughs> Fantastic. All right, we'll take a break, come back. We've got League of Their Own after this. Woo!